on the last episode, you seen Ivon eats, which is me eating the deadly Popeye sandwich that people get stabbed and killed for. Well, this is not funny, and in fact, you have to watch the previous episodes to see whether that sandwich was really worth trying for four dollars. Coming back to this episode, which is number three of going to the other side of Mexico. I almost ended up going to the Mexico, but I had to come back to watch the amazing view of the La Jolla Beach, where I had a deep conversation with the seal and the sea lion. Going back to the Dia de Muertos, known to be the Day of the Dead on the San Diego border of Mexico, and having the amazing Mexican dish. In order to find out, you have to watch this episode with Imon Peace. Island. It's called the Fiesta Island. Fiesta Island is located in San Diego and it is a huge island as you can see that people park their car on the beach and the water is beautiful. Some people are they having fun with their dogs. Some people are just spending their time on the beach sunbathing and it is quite beautiful actually. This piece of land was made naturally and um, it seems like an amazing place. It looks like that is Mexico right there. I don't know if I should try some food or you know what i'm not as big as mark wins or the food ranger i'm probably going to stick to the american side and just try some authentic taco from this side so i'm probably just going to stick on this side so yep there you go you're looking at mexico right there it was a tax and duty free shop and right now i am in a small plaza right outside of mexico and it is called the least fashion and everything the best part of this plaza is that everything is dirt, 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 cheap. Meaning, I pretty much explored the entire neighborhood. You could get a taco for only a dollar. So I tried to buy something a moment ago in the duty free shop and they didn't let me because the first question they asked me whether I was going to Mexico or not. This is the famous La Jolla Beach. It's famous for sea lion hangout spot. So they always hang out with these um, pelicans and also these guys are right here and these people are trying to actually make friendship with them. And of course you can do scuba diving with these sea lions and there is this cave that people can walk into and have a spectacular and an awesome view of the nature. And obviously right now the water is playing funny and it is an amazing view right on the coast of California. So this two sea lion is fighting over who's gonna make it to the shore or something. At the meantime, this sea lion right here is in deep sleep. Uh, so these guys are, they're all having a good time. So this is the La Jolla beach for you. Amazing, isn't it? I saw, I think, one of them were hanging out here too. Oh, there you go. There's one. So there is one right here. He's trying to sleep. Actually, the thing is, when sea lion sleeps, they are deep sleeper. Uh, he's just trying to make sure that nobody's going to harm him. That's why he keeps on opening his eyes. And, uh, and it closes. So he's safe. No one is going to mess with him. Wow. Actually, we've been on the wrong side all this time. Uh, we were trying to get a glimpse of uh, a sea lion <laughs> when these guys were like right here. Like you can literally go and just touch them if you want. But you know, everybody's enjoying the view. So it's definitely not needed. So 
It's amazing. Here's a huge connection between uh, human and sea lion here. And these guys know that the humans is not gonna hurt them. Look at this wave behind me. It's amazing. Look at that. And I'm standing right here and um, I could just slip and fall anytime because you know these uh, rocks are very very slippery and um, these seals are there, these people are taking pictures right there of sea lions. These sea lions are on the uh, rock, they're resting and uh, there's some of them are swimming and I'm going to show you around actually exactly how it looks like and um, it is pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to show you, and, and you know what, people are actually waiting for the sunset. I'm going to show you some footage of sunset. Well, this is the sunset. This is exactly what people do at the time of sunset. People go crazy and they make different poses. For example, this Asian man making some karate moves and uh, this woman making another moves. There are people actually standing right by the edge with their... There are some people risking their life by standing on the edge of the cliff so they could slip and fall any moment into that sea. So people actually are taking risks because somehow these people have to take pictures with the sunset. And guess what? They are not the only one. Even myself got hooked into taking a picture in the sunset. So guys, if you ever come to La Jolla Beach, the best thing you can get here is the sunset. So definitely do not miss it. And standing around, roaming around and bothering the seal and sea lion, I happen to meet the mom, the matrix, the godmother, the oracle of all the sea lion. This is the daddy sea lion. And I kind of had a conversation with him about my upcoming episode. Or maybe my upcoming short films I make sometimes outside food review and I disappear from everyone else and just enjoy the moment and can't wait to get the food afterward. So you guys want to see something crazy? So this is really dark around here, right? This is night. And watch this. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that is a sea lion behind me. This preparation right here is for Dia de Muertos, meaning the Day of the Dead. Well, in Hispanic culture, they believe that there will be a day that people will come back from the dead and they will be spending time with their family. Actually, if you look up in Wikipedia, they literally say the Day of the Dead in Spanish. It is called Dia de Muertos. It's a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico, in particular the central and south regions, and by people of Mexican heritage elsewhere. The multi-day holiday involves family and friends gathering to pray for and remember the friends and family members who passed away and helping support their spiritual journey. In Mexican culture, death is viewed as a natural part of the human cycle. Mexicans view it not as a day of sadness but as a day of celebration because their loved ones awake and celebrate with them. So, in this old town, I could say the old part of San Diego, people are celebrating Dia de Muertos. Well, Dia de Muertos is going to begin, actually the main event is going to begin three days after today, but this is the preparation where you can see all these beautiful decoration, people are preparing these uh, tiny stalls and the skulls everywhere. It's beautiful. So I I am definitely going to miss out because I have to make another Emon Aids episode tomorrow. I am going to another location, but meantime, how about we just enjoy what's around here? And of course, I really cannot wait for the food after this. Cafe Coyote is actually one of the biggest restaurants you can find in San Diego. <laughs> Look at all this beef. I never seen this many beef in a burrito. Usually in New York City, this rice actually stays in the burrito. But here, burrito is filled with beef and some cheese right here. There's no rice in there. No bean in there. In New York City, I see burrito has rice and bean in it. And all the salad goes in it. It's just one piece of chunk, right? It's like one bread that has everything in it. So everything you see outside is usually inside in New York City. So there you go. Mm. The rice is good. 
and the beef. Slow, tender, soft. I can feel each and every spicy. All the seasoning is not spicy at all. They gave you this two type of salsa here. Extra spicy salsa, the mild salsa. The mild salsa, that's it. You take a little bit, right here, you take a little bit, you mix it. Oven. We are only 10 miles away from Mexico, and this is the closest you can get. And I told them, if you don't have anything authentic, don't serve me. And I asked so many people about authentic burrito, and everybody recommended this place. So this is something you definitely should come and try if you don't want to go to Mexico. And I mentioned, the reason I didn't go to Mexico is because it's 10 minutes to go in Mexico, coming out is 4 hours. Puerto Vallarta, this menu right here, cheese, rice, Mmm. The authentic bean. Everything is so yummy. And this is pure, fresh, and I spoke to someone. It's good, really. Yep. I spoke to them. Pure, fresh, hot fish from the Pacific. Real deal. Heaven, heaven. And it comes with it. Chicken taco. As you can see the chicken taco in there. Check this out. So authentic. If I dip it with some sauce, I wanted something authentic Mexican in San Diego because it is a border state. This is it. Okay. This is the Sprite, by the way. For some reason, I noticed that Sprite in California is very fresh and they don't go out of the flavor. Meaning it doesn't lose the flavor, the one we have in New York City. It doesn't matter how many cubes of ice you put in there, but um, today I had three glasses of Sprite. That's crazy. And by the way, I'm almost actually done with the food. The food is delicious and I'm almost done with this. By the way, the burrito did have french fry in it. So, um, not bad. That's something you don't get to eat in New York City or up in North. Okay, so the bill is here right now. So, a large pineapple juice was $3.95. The large soda was $3.95. The California burrito was $12.95 and Puerto Vallarta was $14.25 in total, everything was $35.10. And I kid you not, this is one of the best things you can have. Oh my God, for $37.82, you get a real Mexican heaven that you really don't have to go to Mexico. So I came to the, the Mexican candy store. It's like the heaven of any kind of candies actually. So these are all the candies you can find on different flavors. So out of everything, I picked this one. This is the spicy mango lollipop. It is spicy as hell. I'm not gonna do a review on this one because I'm probably gonna faint or something, but I'll tell you one thing, the burrito was insane. That was the episode, that was it. And um, I hope you like this video, enjoy. And uh, definitely if you come to San Diego, you should come to Cafe Coyote. And of course, this candy store right next door. And I'll tell one thing you're not gonna regret. Well, till then, see ya with another episode soon. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe for more.